Happy Friday, everybody. Uh, I'm going to share a funny story with you and sort of give you a extremely valuable lesson. This lesson cost me $300 to learn and two months of my personal time flailing on dating apps. Okay, so funny story first. Um, my girlfriend's a CrossFit coach. She's working out today, and she gets hit up over Facebook Messenger by this guy from her past, and he writes her like this page-long message and then sort of follows up with this message. Because she was coaching, she couldn't respond right away. He, he sort of follows it up with a sort of like a dismissive sort of like qualifying thing, like, oh, don't worry about what I just said, like kind of, you know, this is what's going on and then blah, blah, blah or whatever. And she tries to kind of rise above the fact that he just sort of made this emotional grab to her, like with this long message, right? Um, and one of the things he said in his follow-up post was like, oh, well, you know, I, I think I could probably get more girls than, than your boyfriend. <laughs> and so, uh, you know, naturally she tells me this. And, um, and so I thought I would turn this, you know, and this is nothing new. She gets hit up by guys all the fucking time, okay? It's like, it is what it is. But um, I thought I would turn this into like an educational opportunity because I, you know, um, it cost me $300 of my, you know, my fucking money and two months of my personal time to learn this lesson. And that is any time that you're using online messaging or texting to grab somebody's attention, you never come out the gate with a fucking paragraph or a page or whatever, right? It's like placing this huge demand on somebody's attention and their time out the gate when they don't even really, you know what I mean? Like they have to warm up to it. They could be doing anything, right? They could be on the shit or they could be, you know, handling their kids or whatever. You don't, you don't know, right? And so typically in conversation, you're going to hit them up like, hey, how, how was your weekend? Happy Friday, blah, blah, blah. And they're going to be like, oh, yeah. Like, or, or what are you doing this weekend? And they'd be like, oh, yeah, I'm about to go golfing, you know, and, and then you'd be like, oh, like I love golfing. Like last time I did it, you know, like smoked a cigar, rented a golf cart, just fucked around on the golf course. It was great. And then you sort of vibe on that, right? And you go back and forth. And then at some point you make a joke, right? Like, you know, you laugh about some funny, ridiculous thing that you just said. And then on the upswing of emotion, once you've added to that girl's day, that's when you go in for the number. That's when you go in for like the hook, line, and sinker. Like, hey, we should get together sometime for lunch or whatever, right? And so in his case, he's going after a girl that's in a, happily in a relationship. So anytime you do something like that, you know, you kind of know going in that, you know, it's not going to work, right? <laughs> and that's probably why he did the, the page long thing because it's more of like a reach. Um, another thing is you're, you're not really going to go after girls in relationships that seem to be happy unless you're sort of making a far reach for validation because if they, if they go for it, then it's like, oh, like you feel better than the other guy or whatever. Um, so, so typically if you're doing something like that, you know, like you're probably making a reach for validation, which is going to be a little bit weak in the eyes of the girl anyway, um, or they could see it as ballsy. Sometimes they do just depending on how well that you do it. I've done it before. Uh, not necessarily proud of it, but definitely have done it. So, um, so he's kind of going after that. So out the gate, that's sort of like a hard a hard um, thing to accomplish anyway. Sometimes you're going to see girls that are sort of like maybe on the fence and you're going to feel it out. But when you're doing something like that, you don't want to feel it out with a long message. So this is, this is where I'm going to deliver the value to you. So what you want to do is anytime that you hit a girl up on lines, you want to stay one notch down in terms of investment level, which means maybe take a little bit longer to respond to her. You're not measuring this out, right? Maybe it'd take a little bit longer to respond and maybe have your text bubble be a slightly smaller than hers. So in content and in timing, you're going just slightly less than her. And it, it took me forever to learn this, this uh, lesson because for two months straight, I floundered with my online conversations. I was getting matches. I was getting interest from girls. Um, everything was fine. But every time there would be that sort of like that threshold, the, the conversation would trail off and I had lost tons of opportunities in that time because what I was doing was reciprocating interest. I was making my responses to them be a little bit quicker and equal in investment level. And that just trails off the, all the fucking way every single time. And it's because I was eager to meet somebody and have a connection. And that was subcommunicated in the text. Okay. So a girl needs to feel a little bit of mystery that you've got your own shit going on. They need to feel like, you know, you've got 
some important shit going on. You need they need to feel like you're not they're not the center of your world, um, and they need to kind of get their interest peaked by this little tit for tat text conversation where you're vibing together and not you can't you're not vibing off of page long messages. It's a warm up process. Okay, um, so. So you want to always stay one notch down in terms of investment level. Now, when you do this, and it's especially true for strangers, okay? So in, in this case, he's a guy from her past. You know, they know each other. And, um, and so he, it's not like they're total strangers. But again, if you're an arm's length acquaintance, you can't really come out the gate with a long ass message either. Um, so, so you have to kind of gauge, you know, what your relation to this person is. But when you're talking to total strangers, and I think this is more applicable for the general person off a dating app, um, you want to always sort of, you know, make sure that you're just dialed slightly down. You don't want to seem like a dick. You don't want to seem cold or indifferent or anything like that. You want to seem like a normal, enthusiastic human being, but you just want to kind of gauge what their interest level and in, uh, involvement is and go just sort of slightly lower. Okay, and ultimately working through everything else we talk about, setting the date, etc., making the phone call, still being a man, but you're busy, you've got shit going on, you have a life purpose. Um, so anyway, um, <laughs> funny story, you know, nothing new. You know, guys come at her all the time, and you know, presumably if you have a hot girlfriend, that's going on too. Um, but um, you know. I thought it would be a fun opportunity to uh, make a lesson out of it. So anyway, um, it took me two months to figure that shit out. Um, and I spent $300 on a course that actually taught me that. And when I started using it, it, like, it fucking works, right? So um, that's what we got. I hope everybody has a great weekend and we'll talk to you later.